Alexa, turn on chair light. Okay. Alexa, what's the weather? Currently, in New York, it's 42 degrees with fog. Today, you can expect rainy weather with a high of 58 degrees and a low of 37 degrees. Alexa, what time is it supposed to rain today? Rain is likely in New York today. There's a 78% chance. You can expect about 0 0.69 inches. Hmm. Looking so fly. So fly. Hmm. Ugh, all the coffee. Star Wars. What's up? I've literally never looked better. <laughs> no, I look awful. I'm about to be on that period, so I am breaking out right now. So I'm trying to take care of that. Um, but I'm sitting at my computer, drinking coffee. Had a little bit of a late start this morning. I was wanting to get up at 6.30, but I slept in. Well, my alarm went off at 6.15, but then I slept in until 6.40. So working a little bit later. I have about 20 minutes to... Talk to you guys, hop in the shower, um, get ready quickly. Might not worry about my hair, we'll see. I don't understand how it got curly when I was sleeping, but I have a call at 8, and then after that I'll probably just get dressed, walk my dog, um, head into work. But what I've been working on is, like I said yesterday, this business plan and I got a lot done yesterday but it was like a lot easier part of it um, I'm kind of in the big research phase of it um, so for example I was working on the SWOT analysis this morning which that stands for uh, strengths weakness opportunities and threats and so filling that out and researching and stuff for that and then also the industry background and it's kind of tough because the industries that we want to be comparing ourselves to there's a few a couple of them um because it's sort of a hybrid so uh yeah just pulling stats for all those and it's super it's like really really interesting and it's been actually quite fun um but it's just taking a little bit longer because it's more of the research aspect of it so i didn't get i wanted to do um yeah i wanted to go over industry background today competitor analysis and market analysis and there's no way honestly i'm probably gonna just do that for the rest of the week um and then yeah because i want to get it right and i mean this is an ever-evolving document with my partner and i but still it's i want to get a good like baseline in this week and um get pretty deep in the research so that's what I was doing. Um, so now I'm gonna shower and get this off my face and get ready for the day. Yes. Okay, looking cleaner, looking better. As in, I don't have a mask on my face. Listening to the news on Alexa. Also, oh yeah, what do I listen to on the news? Um, it starts with The Economist. Babbage technology podcast, which I love, and then it listens, tells me the skim, tells me Reuters, daily tech headlines. Um, it's pretty much the digest that I listen to every day, and it's really informative, keeps me on my toes with current events, and it's really easy to listen to when I'm just getting ready. So, I have a very lazy approach when it comes to the news, and I don't know what I would do without my Alexa. She's my bestie. Also straightening my hair on a rainy day might be stupid and I might regret that but I feel like this dress is a little like girly feminine so I want to go straight because I don't want to like overplay that card. I want some good contrast to my look. You know what I'm saying. Also on Tuesdays, it's the Lady Gang, which is my favorite podcast I will listen to on the way to work. I'm very excited about that. I haven't looked to see who their guest speaker is, but I'm sure they're going to be 
bunny and enter taming. <sighs> so yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Oh, thank you. I missed you. I missed you so much. Yes, I did. You miss me. You miss me. Yes. You ready to go on a walk? Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I saw Emily Weiss from AKA none other than Glossier creator Mwah! and blogger of Into the Gloss, but more importantly, Glossier creator. Outside the Four Seasons in downtown New York, I was like, she's wearing a leopard coat. It was pretty fine. Hello. I missed you, sweet girl. You don't care about famous people, but you love your mommy. I love you too. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, I'm wiped. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to take her for a walk. Because you're so ready. And then I'm going to order food. I really want pizza, which is awful because I had Chipotle for lunch. It's so bad, I know. Um, but I just really want pizza, maybe from Emily's. So I might order that. And then, um, yeah gonna watch an episode of something and have kind of a chill night since I went out oh I didn't tell you what I did last night or did I I don't know I went out for drinks uh with a good friend of mine and it was super fun I didn't stay out too late but I definitely drank a lot they poured like giant glasses of wine which was kind of fun so um yeah it was a good time and then I got home and just like tried on all my clothes and took pictures of myself like a real loser and then I went to bed and it was fun but yeah yeah so having a chill night tonight but I'm gonna take you around the neighborhood so you can see what it looks like so Prison. girl Go in there. <laughs> 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 
prism. Stop it. Come on. Oh my gosh. So these are doggy cannon CBD infused little treats that I give to my dog when I'm having people over. More specifically men over because she hates men and she's scared of them. So I give her these little treats to calm her down and they work pretty well. She seems to like them. So, but just like any chihuahua, you gotta cut them up because they can't handle the whole thing. So, she, oh, she's doing a pretty good job though. She's kind of hungry. Bye, Brit. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>
I guess you can't eat it in front of me. She goes in the corner. Take it. But yeah. Ooh, CBD oil. And then I feed her Nor <laughs> Norwegian. Norwegian, really nasty dog food. Nasty in the sense that it smells disgusting, but she loves it. And it's really good for her. Yes. You're gonna have sweet little dreams. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Gonna get you real chilled out, yeah. Yes. Cool. Is it awful? I'm like, yeah, look at off the floor. So you don't have to clean up the crumbs. <laughs> So bad. Hey yeah, girl. Oh, what a day. Oh goodness. Sorry, that was disgusting. <laughs> oh, I reward myself at the end of every day by not washing my face and using these face wipes. Um, these are my favorite because they have primrose oil in them, which is really ah. oops, sorry, fell off my mirror. These have primrose oil in them, um, which are really good for you when you, if you have psoriasis like I do. So I'm gonna use one of these. You can also tell I'm about to go on my period because I'm breaking out like a crazy person and I'm having all these hormonal cravings. Like I just want pizza. I had Chipotle for lunch. Like, oh, oh. Gosh. Mm. See how much redder my skin is underneath here? So yeah, I just rub super hard and uh, cleanse my face. I'm not taking my eye makeup off yet because I do have a friend coming over so I'm honestly actually putting foundation back on but I want to kind of like clean my face. Ugh. Been breaking out all on my chin. That's horrible. Gosh. Whew. Okay. There we go. Let's do this. 